I mean, that's true. I, you know, I stuck our characters into Degrassi and stuff. I didn't direct that, though. That was like, you know, fucking, that was somebody else directed that. That's how I got that job, though. I, didn't, I wanted to direct it. Like, when we were making Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, uh, um, the folks making the pilot for Degrassi, the next generation, reached out and were like, oh, we hear Kevin's a fan. Like, because I, years ago in 1995, called the offices playing for time, looking for a Degrassi jacket so that Shannon Doherty could wear it in fucking mall rats and shit like that. So they remember that and they were like, we're making this Degrassi, the next generation pilot. Maybe he'll play the news guy, you know, who's interviewing people before the fucking uh, event that they had. I think it was a homecoming case. So we were making our movie, so I couldn't break away and do it and stuff like that. And also, I'll be honest with you, I was like, what? The next generation? Fuck that. I like the old generation. <laughs> what I didn't realize is that they were going to take the old generation and spin off the new generation from it. For example, like fucking Spike was going to be a mom. She was a mom in the old show. And boom, her kid grew up, Emma, and she's like the lead of the show. And I was like, that's fucking dope. That's continuity, I fucking like that. So like I finally caught up with the first season of Degrassi the Next Generation and fucking adored it, like fell in love with it so hard. I was like, oh my God, they brought back my favorite characters. And then they were moving Joey, Jeremiah and Caitlin toward a relationship. And I've always, those are my two favorite characters from, from Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. So I fucking called up Linda Schuyler and was like, hey man, I'm Kevin Smith. I would kill or die to write and direct the episode where Joey and Caitlin get together. And Linda was like, well, who, who is Kevin Smith? <laughs> and I was like, remember I asked you guys for the jacket and stuff like that? And she goes, oh, that's right, the Jay and Silent Bob guy. She goes, um, oh, we would love to have you uh, direct those episodes, but this is a fully Canadian financed show and all the key positions are filled by Canadians. So I'd love you to do it, but you can't because you're not Canadian. <laughs> And I've been told no many times in my life, but that was the first time I was ever told you can't because you're not Canadian. <laughs> and it really shuts everything down. You can't argue that. I'm like, ah, I'm not, you know? <laughs> my wife stole it and shit from Linda Schuyler. I'd be like, let's fuck. And she's like, you can't because you're not Canadian. <laughs> so I was like, man, this fucking sucks and shit. And Linda was like, well, you know, I know you can't direct it, but how would you like to be on the show? We can have you come be on the show. We asked you to come cameo and stuff like that. And I was like, um, yeah, I could be on the show? And she said, yeah. And I was like, um, all right, give me a minute. So we hung up and I came up with a three episode story arc for myself, <laughs> where I play a version of me who never got married and never had a kid so that I could move in on Caitlin Ryan and get between her and Joey Jeremiah right before they finally got together. Like one last hurdle and shit. So, you know, it was fucking very involved and shit. And I faxed it to them, because this is back in those days. And then I never heard back from them. And I assumed they got it, and they were like, holy shit. <laughs> Remember the Clarks guy? This is what he wants to do on a fucking show. <laughs> so, months went by. And then I got a fucking phone call from Linda Schuyler going, Kevin, if we're gonna do the episodes, you have to get back in touch with me. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, we, we reached out to you after we got your fax. And we've been working on the three episodes. And I was like, are you fucking serious? I thought you guys thought I was crazy. She's like, we do. <laughs> but you know, you're very passionate and stuff. So suddenly I got to go up and be on the show, which was way better than directing the show. I just wanted to direct the show so I could be there and watch it all happen and shit. But instead they're like, you get to be on the fucking show. And that was a version of myself where fucking I wasn't married. So we could kiss me and Caitlin Ryan and shit. Like as Kevin Smith's character and Caitlin Ryan's character and shit and fuck with their little relationship. And I neglected to tell my wife <laughs> that, you know, I was, she, you know, she fucking, I came home from shooting the first episode and she was like, how was it? And I was like, oh, it was like really fucking weird and wonderful. I was like, I got to uh, kiss Stacey Mustachian. And she was like, wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, it was a fucking screen kiss and shit like that. And she was going, what are you talking about? She's like, I thought you'd play yourself. And I was like, I, I do. I play a version of myself who's never been married and doesn't have a kid. And my wife, Jennifer, was so fucking heartbroken. She was like, you let them write me out of your life? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, them fucking filthy Canadians, yeah. <laughs> so that's true, I did stick a little bit of Jay and Silent Bob 